Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a great video of Strike Force today. If you haven't checked out my last Strike Force gameplay, it was on Veteran, and I passed it like a boss. And I hope you guys enjoy this one particularly, because I'm going to go and attempt it Veteran style again. Hopefully, I don't die. I was surprised I even passed it the first time, quite honestly, but we'll see how this goes, right? I haven't played this particular mission, IED, yet, so we'll see exactly how this plays out. Mission details. Escort a convoy of Afghan and Russian VIPs and destroy any landmines blocking its path. Seems simple enough. Let's do it. I really do like this HUD here, though. It's interesting. I have no idea what it really does and why it's so colorful. I mean, there's really no point in it being so colorful, but it looks nice, right? It does. I guess it could be color-coded. But again, that ring right there, I don't see why it needs color coding. What does a blue, pink, and slight yellow hues mean? But that's a question for another day. This time we gotta handle this and handle our business ID. Closest heat signatures located by the city of Echo Sierra 719854. Let's do this. Oh, I guess I'm gonna take the control. Or not. That one got shot down first. What am I? This thing is too large. Oh, am I one of the quad rotors? I'm one of the bigger quad rotors, aren't I? Because that's not how normal quad rotors look. Ooh, is that a satellite? Yes, I want to see the satellite. I want to. I'm clicking down. Let me see this. Shenanigans. Okay. I can't even see the controls because they're white and they're too small to see. Where am I even going? Oh, okay, there's bad people over here, I guess. Stop that. That's right. I don't think I can lower myself. So that's a shame. Uh, I'm trying to... Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to take control of these things, and I can't. Oh, that guy tried to jump for me. Horses, Sarah Jessica Parker, killer. Yes. I murdered Sarah Jessica Parker for everyone. Everyone's in debt to me now, clearly. I do like this thing. I don't know if I can make it fly higher. Okay, so I can take control of this, clearly. I keep pressing a one. Getting Y. Um, up takes control of this one left takes control of this one and down takes control of the satellite which I can't take control of for some reason it's a true shame when you can't control a satellite even though you should be able to yeah okay, uh, apparently all my things got left behind for some random reason that looks like a large tank over there something large can't tell what it is Oh, a tank. That's lovely. And all these things are back here because I accidentally pressed them to get over here, I guess. I don't really, frankly, know. But it's definitely a tank. That was, I think, a horse or a dead body. Can't really tell. It says destroy landmines. Forget the tanks, I suppose. Um, that is, yep, that's a tank. I think it just shot at me. Um, so I guess this is really my main objective, is taking out anything I see explosive. Stop that. You're full of holes. Huh. Wait, was it Afghanistan? Oh shit, what the hell did I, did I crash? Is that, is that a cave? Interesting. I can't go in. Uh, okay, so in the campaign, Afghanistan was back in the past, right? So now this is a future Afghanistan, I guess. Interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing this map in multiplayer. It's really open. It could be for snipers, you know. Snipers would thrash everyone over here, too. That'd be awesome. Um, frankly, I don't know, though, if they 
if, if we would even get anything, because frankly, everyone, not just Treyarch or Activision, but all the developers are pretty much passing up the, the Wii U, even though, because they're afraid of the numbers, but, I mean, as game developers, you should be utilizing the superior technology. I mean, Battlefield 4 isn't, I don't think it's going to, oh shit, isn't going to come out, what the fudge? I don't think it's going to come out on, on consoles, because, well, not these current consoles. Because frankly, from looking at specs, the PS4 is gonna just blow the Wii U out of the water, in the same way the Wii U blew the current consoles out of the water. So, what, do I have no ammo? The f fuck? Uh, am I a human? With no weapon? What the hell's going on? Interesting. Anyways, back on track. Um, that was weird. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. Uh, developers, from the looks of it, are really passing up the Wii U. I mean, I I was reading the whole Bioshock Infinite wiki, and apparently the head honcho, or I don't know, what really, I guess the guy who created the game said that he was interested by the actual tablet features of the Wii U, but. I mean, it's not really his decision, it's pretty much a financial decision, because it's a new console, a lot of people don't own the Wii U, and they're afraid that a lot of people might not buy Bioshock Infinite, even though it's got basically an A-plus rating from every single website, then no doubt they would buy it, but they just don't want to risk the money. Are they on horses? Yes, they are. Die! <laughs> it did a barrel roll. So, uh, yeah, it's a shame. It looks like the Wii U is going to get passed over for most of the stuff. It's not really like before where the Wii got passed over for everything because of its limitations. It's not, We're just getting passed over because we're new. Whether this will end or not when the PS4 and other 360 version come out is it's interesting to see. But I, I don't even know why I'm, I'm rambling on this. This is a topic for a whole different commentary. But these Afghanis are a trip. And I don't know. Whoa. Interesting. Um, they got to get off their high horses. I can't even shoot up there. That sort of works, I guess. Their high horses. Get it. Ooh, another bridge I can destroy. Yes. I love destroying bridges. Can I please take care of the satellite? Or whatever this is. Okay, I just order everyone to get them over here and fuck people shit up, right? And this place would be an interesting place to have a map. And we could have vehicles and stuff. And we could have vehicles because Treyarch's done vehicles before in World at War. That would be neat, right? Ah, I would love driving a tank around here. Did I just get the story that fast? Man, these guys really are challenging, but then again, I am playing veteran, right? Um, holy shit. RPG! Yup. They got blunt. Oh, uh, am I out of ammo? Nope. Man, I love these explosive rounds. Why don't they have this in multiplayer? Come on. This thing gets shot down like nothing. They should be able to work the other way around. What the hell? Is there a cave there? Uh, mission success. Convoy has arrived. Pickup site. All assets provide perimeter security for VTOL departure. Holy shit, look at that. Am I even aiming? I have no idea. Cool. Was, was that it? <laughs> well then. That was fairly easy. I just flew around and shot horses and momentarily became a human, I believe, with no weapon equipped. But mission success. Great. Confirm this shit. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed my rambling and my attempt at the Afghanistan 2025 Strike Force mission. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. I upload often.